Hey, Brendan Lupitan, and I want to quickly talk about a really powerful persuasion technique called image induction. And the way that it works is that you ask a person a question that causes them to search their memory bank for an image that is consistent with a request that you're going to be making of them. So let's think about it like this. Imagine you have a friend who's generally pretty hesitant about doing new things and you want to get them to go with you to a brand new restaurant that under normal circumstances they probably would have no interest in participating or going with you to. With image induction what you would do is you would ask them do you consider yourself an adventurous person? Because you've made that the focus their mind they're going to go search for instances even if they're not really adventurous where they were adventurous and that's going to oftentimes lead them to conclude I am an adventurous person. That in turn is going to make them more likely to comply with your request to try a new restaurant. Now the research shows that this is a very effective method of persuasion. For example, there's multiple uh, studies of this. A control group was simply asked the question, will you participate in a 30-minute survey on a volunteer basis? The experimental group was first asked an image-inducing question, which was, do you consider yourself to be a helpful person? All of the people that were asked that question in the experimental group said, yes, I am a helpful person. Then the experimenters asked the experimental group, would you agree to participate in this 30-minute volunteer survey? What they found was that the group that was the control that wasn't asked the image-inducing question had a 30% response rate. So 30% of those people agreed to do the survey. In the experimental group of people that were first asked whether they were helpful and had confirmed that they were helpful, more than 70% complied and agreed to participate in the study. So now you can see that this technique can be sometimes twice as effective uh, as persuading somebody to uh, comply or go along with a request that you're making. So you can use that uh, in all sorts of ways, whether you're arguing with judges, when you're, whether you're speaking to jurors, finding ways to pose a question to them that causes them to find the image that's then consistent with the request that you are hoping or intending to ask of them. And by doing that, you're going to significantly increase your chances that they are going to be agreeable because they've already identified themselves as that type of person to go along with your request. If you want to read more about this, please check out my blog post. I hope you're all doing great. Again, Brendan Lupitan, take care.